Hi there. Did she? I'm looking for a swan. It's a ginger. Anyways, like I said, I'm Yorick, and welcome back to the night. I don't know if that's the right ginger we're looking for, but we found a ginger, and that's just as good. Now I'm gonna give this guy another shot. Hey there, are you still doing the things? Oh, hey, waiter, I you know, he just kind of looked like Eric. Not a Merlot. Where's Julie? Julie? You know he'll be bringing sparkling grape juice. Ugh. You are not known to me. Should you be? Me, Tommy Flayton, the food authority of Los Angeles, food critic for the biggest paper on the West Coast, radio personality for the KTLK, chower hour. Say it with pride. Maybe if I reviewed more pancake huts, you'd know me. I mean, I might. I fucking love pancakes. But you're the Tommy Flayton. Always good to meet a fan. Can I sign a napkin or something for you? Well, actually, Tommy, I was wondering... Are you enjoying your maggots? What? Maggots. You're eating maggots. <gasps> this place will pay for this. As sure as my name is Tommy Flayton, they'll never serve food in this town again. How could they do that to you? I bet they didn't get that idea from a movie. Or maybe we did. It's hard to say anymore. Now, we were looking for another place here in Hollywood. What was it? Got a card in downtown, I think it was. Or was it Santa Monica? Yeah, on the body, I'm sure. That wasn't downtown, how come it's something? Whatever. At the warehouse, but Durbin was nowhere to be found. You did find a key for the Lucky Star Motel, though. Well, let's find that. Huh. Okay. I'll take a guess. Cozy. Sorry, hey. no vacancies. That's a shame. This looks like it will one night be familiar. Another time, then. Now, he just said no vacancies, and we're walking in here anyways. What must he be thinking? Oh, you're just gonna check the place out? Yes, I'm just gonna check the place out. I guess I could be visiting someone. Ah! Oh my god! My work is done! Huh. You know that guy kinda looked familiar? Not him, though. But it's selfish. Brother Salvage, Santa Monica. You know, I was kind of thinking about Santa Monica anyways. Mercury said he had some tasty boomsticks for us later. I wonder if he came through. Nothing for it now. Night eating you? <laughs> the dead have taken up residence in your establishment. Already? Man, that's early for tonight. Whoa. Oh well, I'll, I'll, I'll call the cops, but who knows when they'll show up to protect and serve, right? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he's got a plan. I'm just noticing things, like a man who looks like you speaking to me. Yeah, you do that. Oh, he stopped. I'll just stand here and wait to see if he says anything else. Night eating you? I guess not. It meets any of us. Soon. I must be cautious someplace else. Yeesh, that's not prophetic. Visions of Gehenna in your head, Yorick? Or my head. No, Tyler. Our head. I'll scream. You do that. That. Ah. Uh, you know, I, have... I haven't been there yet. 
Ah, I can't answer it anyways. Must be for someone else. You see, I've never been to LA, but that lady that was in the black back there. Isn't she dressed a little too hot? Well, I guess she could be a professional lady. Oh. Wink, wink, Welcome to the Spot, home of the monster chug. 72 ounces of your favorite beverage for 89 cents. Blah, blah. You need help or something? What is the city hiding from me? Um, humility? Yeah. Seriously. You want some orange juice or something to help you come down? Because, like, you're wigging. Orange juice does sound really good, but no. Has the killer that walks these streets bloodied his hands again? I mean... Since we saw him last time. Uh, this isn't going to turn out to be ironic, is it? You're not like a serial killer, are you? Is anyone out there keeping track of the count? Am I up there yet? Like, actual murders need only apply. Not None of that self-defense stuff. Jack is on my side. The city of Stars is on fire. Always. You should come out there and is. see my band, a bowl of cereal. We're playing tomorrow night at the crematorium. Five bucks, two drink men. We're gonna ruin the place. You know, they voluntarily eat insects in some countries. Are there other situations I must place myself yeah, in? The Vesuvius so, rocks. They don't night, they let me in anymore, sleep, but damn, right? the girls are there, dude. It's like and midget smuggling. Exactly in there. One can only imagine why. That Wasted gas, gas station attendant. I, I will enter the volcano uh, later. Hey, you know, you should really ask me about the special, you know? Oh boy. I think maybe I should. I, those eyes look trustworthy. Special. I'm glad you asked that, bro. Seeing as how you look trustworthy or something. I got this or something. You buy some really expensive burrito tots or grape juice. You get a free weapon of your choice, bro. I see. You interested? Have you done any I see what you're doing there. Here are my eyes. Show them your courtesy. So, if you haven't really written anything, how can you Now, since he mentioned it, I believe I'll get an because orange juice. My toilet, doesn't make worth about armor, right? $430. Is anyone in this city that doesn't call Leather armor. Writer, Gonna love it. Or director? Don't you think you're doing a disservice to those who actually make their living in those art forms by deeming yourself something you're not? <laughs> Extra clips of that and that. I mean, I'm not even really using my guns, but I have all this money. I might as well spend it. I ain't checking again. But we have business in Santa Monica. And I want to check on Mercury. We have a little lull in the action here. I gotta find Ginger Swans, wherever she is. And if Abrams is to be believed, she's dead and isn't going anywhere anytime soon. So Lovely evening. Don't tell me what kind of evening it is. You don't know me. And anyways, Ginger Swan isn't going anywhere anytime soon, so she'll be exactly where she needs to be when I eventually catch up to her. Let's see what the fleet-footed god has to say. What delicious boomsticks he has waiting for us. Really looking forward to that flamethrower. That is just pure anti-vampire goodness. Hey, Mercury. Picked up a Spaz 15 this morning. Cleaned, oiled, and just waiting to put a hole through something. You interested? Good God, yes. Let me see this crazy Spaz. The Spaz 15 automatic shotgun looks and fires more like an assault rifle than a traditional shotgun. It delivers bursts of deadly shot at devastating pace. The Spaz 15 has both automatic and pump action functionality. Because it's awesome. We're gonna grab that, and we're gonna get some shells. And then we're gonna pawn this knife because it's like the fifth one we've picked up. Oh God, yes. Oh Mercury, you make me so happy. Let's see what this looks like. Up. Oh. oh cool, it's a biohazard suit. What a clashing red-green situation we've got there. Like some sort of sewage Santa. Yo, Rick the sewage Santa. Event crawling is his game. Lobbing blobs of slime is his 
Wait a minute. Just gonna let that one drop by the wayside. I don't know what Trip is up to. And I can't imagine, nothing will be different between these two safe havens aside from pretty pixels as far as I know. Same email, same everything. Thanks for coming back. What you need? I don't know yet. What a wondrous shop of cast off goods this is. Thanks. You, uh, new to Santa Monica? Trip, we've known each other for months now. Months! It's not a big surprise. We get you faces through here night after night. You see more answer, tourists, but, insanity, now, but what's his deal? I don't know, man. It's more like drifters. How much gold for your goods? Right, here's what we got today. You retarded death dealer. Anyways, we don't need this. I still have these. What am I going to do with these? Oh, you know what? There's a gypsy on the pier, too. Or there was supposed to be. I remember seeing the sign at um, the museum. Let's go check that out. Well, actually, uh, the murderer. The murderer most foul. He dropped something. That postal card. Or whatever it was. He has... Hey, free blood. He has things to answer for. So we need to find Brother Salvage. I get the feeling it's probably going to be near Nasty Dude in his junkyard. Let's see what he's up to while we're at, I mean, while we're at it. Yeah, yeah, what do you know? Brother Salvage. But what are you up to, Nasty Dude? Gary's in Osferatu anyways. Maybe he knows what something. Do you need? Do you see the Shadow Cloak Killer? Those murders are definitely the work of Kindred. Probably some Kate of getting revenge on everyone who made fun of him in high school. Once the Sheriff tracks this guy down, they're gonna make one hell of an example of him. Well, that's a shame I tracked him down first. Kate Tiff, the motherless dogs. <laughs> Pretty close to the mark. Kate are just kind of riffraff vampires who don't know anything about vampire society, don't know their clan, Mutt vampires. What I suspect you were perilously close to becoming if LaCroix hadn't intervened. Thin blooded and short lived. You said it. Theory goes that the farther down the bloodline you are from Cain, the weaker the blood is. So if you're, say, fifth generation, the blood is strong. If you're 15th generation, you barely qualify as a vampire. A thin blood. Hmm. Thin-blooded, thinly seen. And yet they cast a long shadow. Long shadow? Yeah. I see what you're saying. You Malkavians and your damned insight. Most fledglings don't know anything about Gehenna. Gehenna, the falling of the eternal shadow. You don't know the half of it, kid. Gehenna, the day we all die. When our sleeping forefathers rise and bring about the end of the world. Many believe we're living in the final nights. Cain, yep, creepy. that's him. Cain, the biblical brother killer. Father of all vampires. Am I talking in circles if I pick this? You said it. Theory goes that the farther down the bloodline you are from Cain, the weaker the blood is. Yeah, I'm So if you're, say, now. fifth generation... Skip. Man, I like know Gary about to... Come on, man. I want to ask you about Gar uh, Gary, I think it was. Plan? No. Someone. Sure. Does he have anything new? Chester. You call him LaCroix? A... Skip. None more than you. Farewell, nasty dude. Well, I guess some new dialogue, but... I wanted to ask him about Gary, but I suppose he wouldn't tell me even if he knew, right? I really want to test this out on something, but I don't want to test it out on you. 
Let's stick with single shotgun, or single shot for now. And let's break into the place. What the? That was a cool trick. He isn't here anymore either. He is gone gone. Dogs can hear me. Hey, a vampire. Let's do the other side of the wall there. What the? Oh, you son of a bitch. You wanna play that game, do you? Holy crap. The freaking hell kind of vampire. Dude just kicked the car out of his way. He just kicked it like a damn soccer ball. Also, how am I going to get past? This has got me a little on edge. <laughs> Whoa. God damn. What am I chasing down fucking Superman? And he can vanish. Oh, dip. Good grief. Dude could throw cars like a goddamn... What are you? Back off, vampire! Stay the fuck back! I did nothing to you! What dark dreams drove you to this nightmare? I think I remember this guy. He was in the diner uh, pretty early on in the game. What the hell do you care? I don't give a damn if you understand. Hmm. Enlighten the shattered mind. Well, he doesn't care. You think your bullshit vampire rules mean a goddamn thing to me? Nothing matters to me. My family, my children were butchered by small time criminals just looking to rob a house, steal a car, take whatever. No sense to any of it. No plan, no ransom, just kill oh, them. Because why? Because they were there in the way? Death is no healer. Not one of them paid. My whole family dead, my life gone. I'm supposed to let that happen. Hmm. So you took the scales in your own hand? Revenge, justice, whatever you want to call it. All I thought about is taking these evil animals, ripping them to shreds, and licking their blood from my claws. Your debt has been paid. Walk another path. I don't know. Butchering those bastards was the first time I felt anything since my family was torn from me. I'm sure there are others out there whose crimes have gone unpunished. I mean, he's probably not wrong. Come on now. Hmm, what should I say? The beast digs his claws deep into you. At least I put it to use. How many vampires have used their abilities for a just cause? At least I did something. Control your beast or the justice hound will feast on you. I can't turn my back on evil in this world. The mask we wear must be respected. I won't answer to anyone and you'll never take me alive, vampire. No one will take from me again. No one! Either we go our separate ways here or one of us dies. Well, it looks like one of us is gonna die. 
And we'll find out which one next time. Don't you love a cliffhanger? Until then, farewell, vampire.